Good morning. Good morning. I can't believe I am like super awake. Like, but I'm really awake. Well, I'm really awake and it's 730. I'm proud. We're on our way to day two, but I, I really consider it day one because this is the day of all the speakers. And I've been up since 2.30 this morning. Nuh -uh. Oh, yeah. I woke up at like 2.30. I had to use the restroom and then I could not go back to bed. So then I started thinking like, it'll be really cool to edit day one of Keto Summit that Omaha. That would be cool. And then put the link right up here. All right. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos. And we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So, welcome to day two of Keto Summit Omaha 2021. I love this get-together. I love this get-together. We're really excited. Uh, if you happen to see our live stream on Thursday, we mentioned in the live stream... We are considering, it's not It's not a definite yet. We're thinking about we're it. We're considering going to Las Vegas. But what we want to know is because we're not going for the speakers. Well, we're going for the speakers, but to hang out with the speakers. Yeah. We're really coming for you guys because we have not done a West Coast trip. And we feel like this is a really good way to do meetups. So if we could do meetups by attending different keto conventions... Because we get to hang out with you guys, we get information from speakers, you guys get information from speakers, and it's like kind of an area where Just we can fun. all get together. But we, we need to know. look at all the hotels. Yeah, yeah. We need to know, though, how many people are in the Vegas area or are willing to travel to Vegas to hang out with us or something. So let us know down in the comment section. So here's the thing. Today's a long day. It is. It's, it's like a really seven long day. to seven. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we have Heath and we have Shelly and we have Caboodle and we have Susan, I believe. And then I don't even know if there's other people. Hopefully, they're more all people. coming over here to the house for, for dinner afterwards. For an after party. For an after party. But then we have to get up at like four o'clock in the morning to head to the airport. Well, this will keep us up. We may not even yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, we probably won't go to bed. So here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do today in the vlog is we're going to go around. We're going to talk to some vendors so you guys can see who's here. And we're going to talk to some of the different people here, like Kim Howerton. Some of them are going to be in this vlog. And so since I think it's going to be a little long, we're going to put chapters. So if you go down in the description, there's going to be timestamps. If you just want to see us, say, talking to Astner Cindy, yeah. uh, that'll all be linked down below. And then some of them are going to actually be separate videos, like short little three, four, eight minute videos, because maybe we we'll want to get a little bit more information. So it just depends on how much information we can get out of the speakers. Yeah, right. I'm excited. So like we're we're planning on talking to Maria Emmerich and Dr. Barry, and uh, we're gonna get Dr. Fit and Fabulous. So uh, just pay attention to all of that, and make sure you're hitting the bell button and you're subscribed to the channel. This way you can come back and find all of those other videos and also be notified when they get uploaded. Okay, so we are inside of the convention center now and before the action starts and the music starts pumping, we're gonna go around to the vendors and see who we can talk to. My name is Anthony Lester and I'm with Peaceful Roads. We are Omaha's premier CBD brand. And a couple things we came to highlight this year at the Keto Summit is our new C8 MCT oil. And you may ask, well, you're a CBD company, so why do you have a coconut oil? Well, we are the only CBD company in the history to sell the same MCT oil that they use in their CBD products on itself because it's just so good. Wow. And we're here to kind of tout the benefits of the C8 versus C10 mm -hmm. and C12 and blends and mixes. And we want to talk about how this MCT oil helps improve the quality of the CBD that you take within the products that we have. So for our CBD products, that means it has the highest bioavailability 
So other CBD brands are using really cheap MCT oil and not even C8s or C10s or C12s. That's right. So they're so far behind on the bioavailability scale. So that's kind of where we come in and make the difference because we want people to get the benefits of their product. So that's just a little bit about us. And also, we came here today to kind of show off a new revolutionary product, which is a CBD powder. Over the last oh, wow. three, yeah, over the last three years, we've noticed uh, people try the gummies, they like the lotions, mm -hmm. they like the CBD oils, but we wanted to think of something new, something versatile, and something every age can get. Yeah. Um, so that's the CBD powder, and this has been one of the biggest hits we've ever seen because people are so used to already scooping something and putting it oh, into absolutely. their drink. Oh, yeah. absolutely. So we're partnered with doctors, chiropractors, med spas, and a lot of our athletes too, they mix it in with their drink that they use the pro, the pre-workout. Yeah. They mix, because it just dissolves, it's instantly dissolving. So that's the difference. There is another brand, but it doesn't dissolve. So. So that's I think he's like, got some if you want to sample it. Yeah, here because come. you don't want to have to bring a mixer with you every single place that we you go. We can't do that. Yeah, no. So these other people, they had to bring mixers everywhere and it got weird. So Now, is it flavored or, or is, is the intention to just add it to something that you're already drinking? So all, none of our products come with any flavoring and that is we are a huge proponent of not doing that That's cool. even our mct oil it has no flavoring it has no additives wow and because we don't believe in additives if it does not need to be there if it does not have a specific purpose mm -hmm. then there's no need for it mm -hmm. and we have noticed other um, mct oil brands and other cbd brands they'll come out with mint chocolate right. and exactly and strawberry and these kind of things are used to deter you away from the fact that it's a unquality brand right so we don't want any of that we don't want any misconceptions we just want to give it to you as raw and as true and as real as we can so that's why we're here at the keto summit 2021 awesome now so, after the summit how will we be able to find you can people find you online yeah so we do have a website and if you do live in nebraska we're partnered with over 30 stores here in omaha and you can go on our website. We have a zip code finder, so you just type in your zip code and it'll show you the nearest location to you. If you're too far, we'll, we can ship it to you, no problem. So I'm here with Lindsay from Primal Indulgence, and she has a beautiful table with lots of keto goodies. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? Um, well, about five years ago, we started out just gluten-free, and then it just kind of evolved from there, and I came up with more and more recipes, and um, keto's taken off, and I'm glad to be here. That is awesome. So this is your first summit in Omaha. Um, I did the last one. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. yep I remember them here. Awesome. So what are uh, some of the treats that, that you serve? Um, well, I do have an arrangement from cookies, cakes, I have candies and then chocolates. I do um, truffles and, and other assorted um, wow. goodies. So do you serve just the Omaha area or is it something that we can you can uh, order and have shipped to you? Yeah, um, I would love to be able to ship, but I'm not big enough for that. So <laughs> Well, it's, yeah, it's I coming. I am local. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so where can everybody find you after the summit? Um, PrimalIndulgenceLLC.com or Facebook and Instagram, Primal Indulgence. Um, and I do uh, lots of different events. I wholesale to some of the coffee shops around here. Oh, nice. Um, yep. And then um, I bake out of my commercial kitchen and I have pickup times or I deliver. Hello. Yes. yes. Delivering. Yay. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Jenny, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you serve because I saw your beautiful face on a car <laughs> in the parking lot and that was like the cutest vehicle. Thank you. I love my little car. It's so cute. So I am a nurse practitioner. I've been a nurse practitioner for for about 14 years um, and I originally was mainstream medicine okay doing all the same things more prescriptions and more prescriptions and more prescriptions it wasn't working like wow. patients would come back and they would say but I'm gaining this weight I noticed I was gaining weight mm -hmm. I had gotten up to the 200 mark and was afraid to get on the scales after that so yeah. I just stopped weighing. I was well like, the scale is the devil it is. basically it really is and I just it freaked me out I couldn't play in the floor with my grandkids yeah. without being exhausted and sore and I was like I was 48 at the time and I'm thinking this is not normal no. I am not that 
old. Right. Like I'm just not old enough to need a cane or a walker to move around, but I can't function after just a simple event with my kids. So I thought I need to heal myself so I can heal my patients. And I love so, that. Yep, that's what happened. I just started working on myself and patients were like you don't look the same. Right. Like, they noticed the change. Same. They noticed. And they're like, what are you doing? So I started prescribing lower carb eating for patients. And go figure, patients came off their meds. They wow. healed themselves. Like, it just happened. So now I'm open to practice here in the Omaha area. So I can provide that care here. So now, if you have that beautiful car, do you even make house calls to people? I did before the pandemic. Okay. Um, but that sort of shut that down. So right now I'm doing mostly telehealth. Wow. I do have a small office where people can come and I can see if some people just like that in-person kind of relationship. Oh, absolutely. So we come and um, uh, have that little visit. But yeah, I, I was making house calls, but now I've sort of transitioned and we all do the telehealth. I was going to say, so you do telehealth. Are you only so Does that mean you don't have to be in Omaha? Yeah. So you do not have to be in Omaha. I, uh, and I, Hello. And I even have licenses in multiple states. So Can you share some of the states? So I have licenses in Iowa, for instance. That's a neighboring state. So I can see patients um, in Iowa, in um, Washington State, um, Oregon trying to remember all the states. It's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Um, and I'm applying for more, like constantly applying for more. So we will put it, all the information demanding. down in the description. Yeah. yeah, because there are so many people yep. who are looking for yep. a keto-friendly right. medical person because a lot of times the doctors are continuing to subscribe stuff right. and are prescribe stuff and and of course you know they're do you know when you know better you do better right exactly that's and, my motto <laughs> but but it's it's nice to have somebody that's already understanding why we're doing what we're doing and right. and we're hopeful and you, and you know you're scared as a patient right to let go I mean my right. mom was a type 2 diabetic for 20 years and as she let go of those medicines I mean there's always that feeling like I'm over a cliff am I jumping into right. into the right. abyss right. right so that is so nice so uh, we will leave all of her information down below in, in case yep. you can reach out and, yep. and you're looking for somebody who who can help you medically in the in the keto space so thank you so much for being sure. there another thing I'll mention is even in states where I don't have a license to practice or prescribe I can do health coaching so I can guide them go. from a medical standpoint differently than other health coaches can so true. they can't no. they can't talk about meds really um, and so that can be helpful. They can sometimes take the information in our conversation and take it to their prescriber and say, look, I have this nurse that's a health coach. She's trying to help me. This is what she recommends we do. So I have services available for other people. I have patients that I've wow. seen in, in Australia, in the UK, in um, um, Israel. Like I've seen patients around the world. That is incredible. Thank you for not only being willing to change the way you were thinking, but also to reach out to people using all the new technology yep. that we have. So, like, the world is getting smaller. Right. And right. thank you for being a part of it. We're so Thanks tickled. Thanks for asking to chat with me. I appreciate the chance. Awesome. So this is Heather and Phil. If you, if you don't realize, they are the whole reason why, honestly, we're here or anywhere because they actually gifted us That's right. the first keto con that we ever went to tickets to that uh we were we were just starting out and we wanted to go but there was like no way we could go and uh they you yep. guys had we tickets go. Yep. and they were she's like well we have tickets do you want them and i couldn't believe like how sweet to like just to a stranger and all i asked for was this shirt <laughs> oh, oh my gosh yes the savage oh, shirt yeah, that's right. and, and they're right behind you and, yeah so of course we were like tickled to do them. I mean, that's a fair swap and a, and a half. <laughs> and then I make you come to Omaha in January. We're, oh my gosh, yes. So she was like, well, I would get to see you if we go to Omaha. And yeah, it was January. It wasn't like now. That was August. actually the last convention. That was the last yeah. convention. Yep. So it's just and then so, we had the pandemic. You know what? It's not just great to get well. It's not just great to lose weight. It's great to make friendships. And I think that the keto community is like no other. Everybody is on your side and cheering for you. And then you find people that you talk to on Facebook and you're like, you can put a face to it. 
or like you do. What's your handle? Who are you? Yeah, because exactly, because you, you're different online. Like no, it's like Ra a name tag that says Rachel on it doesn't mean nothing. And because Phil and I are easy because his says Phil and mine says Heather. Yeah, Heather. <laughs> you, yeah, you've got like the really cool one, not one like with like Batman signal and dollar sign and all this kind of stuff, so that you don't recognize you. But it's just awesome to get together. Oh yeah. We're like it is. It's, it's like Forrest and Jenny. We just like pick up right where we left off. Look who we found at the Omaha Summit. It I'm is here. Robert Keto Savage, and he has a beautiful booth. It's so exciting to see you guys expanding. Of course, we wanted to be comfortable. This is the long day. It is. So I'm like, I gotta wear the, the Live Savage apparel pants. Joe's got the Keto Brick shirt on. Because I've got mine underneath here too. It's not just. Those shorts are awesome. It's yeah. not just like pretty, but it is comfortable. Like yeah. you wanna wear it all the time. So tell us a little bit about how you're expanding. Uh, well, we just bought a new building. Uh, we bought it about a year ago. We're renovating it right now, so we're getting a whole new compound, and we're getting everything ready to go there. So we're we're just about moved in and, and situated. Yay! Um, this is the first conference we've been to in a while. We got our bricks, obviously. Look at how many flavor. more. It just is like growing and growing. And I more mean, are coming. More wow. Coming. And then we got the apparel. And then with the apparel, 50% of the proceeds go to the veteran events that Jay is here. We're doing the 50 mile march. Are you doing the 50 mile we walk? We found out about it after we booked our flight. And it was a seven uh, o'clock in the morning flight, and we were we were so ticked off about it. But like that, but that is such a great cause. Yeah, that is so. About Tell us a little about keto break for people who don't know, because we've been, been around since so we're, we're an OG. But. Yeah, so keto break. I make keto brick out of my own necessity back in 2017 for my competition prep. Should I be looking at the camera or looking at you? Yeah, no, no, that either one. No, um, that's good. Right. And uh, I made it for my own self, not, not planning on selling it as a product. And then Crystal's like, we ought to sell it as a product. So she rolled up her sleeves, I rolled up my sleeves, we started making these by, you know, by hand in our own kitchen. And then it just started expanding. People were buying them up. They'd sell out in like literally minutes. Y'all remember? Yep. And yeah. Now we've we've expanded. We've got several employees now. We're just continuing to grow and keep all the production in house. It's a it, thousand calories. It is amazing. Yes, you are not going to eat anything that is just perfect keto macros. Get that nutrient density, and it goes anywhere. I mean, even anywhere. South Florida. And and we we had a funny one. Ours turned into a Capri Sun when That's we went to Utah. That's because we left it in the truck in Utah. But that, it's still it. good. <laughs> it like it. It, it hardened back up again and we were good to go. And a lot of times we actually use the silicone molds mm -hmm. to give us a, a very easy fat bomb yep. every time at home. It's really good. So you can actually check down below. We have the link in every video to, to Keto Brick because it's such a delicious product. And through the end of August, brick by brick gets you 15% off. And yeah. it gets your name on one of the actual bricks at our new building. How exciting is that? Because, you know, everything looks so beautiful and slick. You think, well, this is a giant corporation, but it is not. I mean, you are hands-on for every stitch of clothing yeah. that rolls out, every brick they're overseeing. So it's, ama it's amazing. Every single time we get to see you guys, you're just growing and, and, and just getting better. Well, I must say, huge shout out to you two because Aww. we get so much positive <laughs> feedback from y'all's platform, y'all's audience. I mean, I can't thank y'all enough, truly. Oh, well, we, we love you guys, and I mean, you want to support an American company that really, you guys, I mean, they're so young. It's like it's like babies to see you guys together, but they have rolled up their We're sleeves. We're actually almost old enough to be their parents. Oh, seriously. <laughs> but but rolled up your sleeves and really grown it, yep. like inch by inch. And it's it's neat to, to see you grow because we were excited when you got into the last space. Yeah. And now this giant compound, they're just this guy. Y'all will have to come out there to the new place. Yeah, we'll oh, I'm excited. He's very excited to come during like a hunting season. Yep, yep, it'll be good. To, to have fun with that. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, this is a shout out to Anthony. He would not believe this, but this entire table was just covered with this full green um, cauliflower rice that he loves. You know, when we open the, the, the keto box, or Joe and him does, he just can't get enough of this. He's usually eating this through the entire video. So it's kind of funny that they're just giving it away. He could come here to Omaha and get as much as he wants. So we were having so much fun at the Keto Omaha Summit, and it was interesting. I can hear Dr. Barry in the background talking, but this reminded me yesterday, I was playing with Beckett in the in the foyer, and he saw these two people together on the sign, and he said, holding hands, 
friends. And I thought this is such a great testimony for what the keto community is really like. We're holding hands and we're pulling one another up. Sometimes if you're having a bad day, you're having a bad week, we don't leave people behind. We pull them back up and let's get to the next victory in our life. And I get so excited about that. But even a kid can recognize the power of friendship. We've got Jay Morales, pronouncing it right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So Jay, is the organizer, right? I mean, it's, it's Dr. Fit and Fabulous as yes, a band, but yes. you kind of do all of the back stuff. So what's crazy is I met Jamie through Instagram. I said, let's do a podcast. She said, sure. Didn't really know who she was. And we got to know each other. I said, I'd love to throw an event here. She said, I said, let's get 50 people together. We started out at 50 last year and it blew up. It was amazing. And absolutely. And she brought all of us together. I mean, you were up there Thank earlier you. talking Thank you. and you were talking about things that we talk about all the time. Because, yes, absolutely. You know, we tell people like, stop using the word dirty keto and lazy right. keto because right. you're basically telling yourself you're dirty. Right. Or you're a cheater. Right. Stop using these terms on yourself. Say, I'm doing Joe keto or I'm doing Rachel keto yeah. or I'm doing Jay keto. You're labeling keto. yourself. Right. We and can't label ourselves. Yourself. Yes. And, and what was it that you said before? Stop using can't. Stop using can't. We always, I can't do this because I, my husband, my wife, my friend can't. I can't do this because we're so used to pulling back and saying, I can't do this right now. Yeah. And it feels comfortable, right? Oh, thank God, the pressure's off. I can't. I want to start this, but I can't until next week. Today's Sunday. I can't do it until Monday. Yeah. We can't all the damn time. Yeah. 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 Well, and it was so nice to just, you helped us to get into the mindset of being here because otherwise, if we don't stay, stop, take a breath, right. be ready and prepared to receive what all the speakers are saying, it's just gonna wash over us. Right. So it was interesting, you had us just stop, take a breath, be prepared to receive. Be here. Be here, be present right. in the moment because being face to face with people really is important. We need these get togethers because we can hear them on YouTube. For free, right? Yep. all day long, right? Yep. We talked about this. You can hear your favorite rock artist on the radio and that's all you have to do. Why do we spend $150 to go see them in concert? Because the human spirit, yeah. um, the, the connectivity that we have, I can look away from YouTube. I can right. look away from Instagram. But when I'm here, I, I, want, I, want, I want all the attendees to know like, yes, you're here, but part of you is somewhere else still. Yeah. That's why this morning I said, Let, let's just stop for a second. Right. Yeah, you spent a lot of money, yeah. a lot of time, and I want you to get something. And the only way to do that is center yourself. And, and it may not have worked for everybody, but I don't want people to attend a conference. I want people to invest in their future. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's that's everything. Well, to me. here's the thing. We get to attend to a lot of conferences and we and we travel to them all on our own dime. Know, just awesome. because we want to be a part of it. We, we want to be it. around people. Yeah. We want to inspire people and motivate people. But here's the thing, this is the first conference that we've been to since last year's because oh last gosh. year was Keto Summit Omaha in right. January and then pre COVID and then boom. Yeah. Right? Yes. I mean it was gone. So right. it, we we were doing two back to back. This is still my favorite because of the good. way you and oh. Dr. Seaman have have made it this intimate event. From the VIP thing on Friday oh night, gosh, which was yes. amazing, Thank you. to just the fact of the way the speakers walk around, everybody it's a, is a It's nice and tight it's together. Small. So right. you can get a personal question answered. You want to talk to Dr. Barry? You yes. want to talk to Dr. Silas? Yes. You You're not going to get that experience Cindy. at KetoCon. KetoCon is awesome. It is awesome. But there's so many people at KetoCon. It's just hard to get that one on one time. And this is just a lot of little vignettes and areas where you can just have conversation. And if you look behind, Kind of. See that circle right there? I know yeah. people. Those, those are the two crazy keto meatheads, actually. Yeah. Those are all our subscribers that oh, drove they're just, up. They're just hanging out together and seeing people in person because it really is important to see one another. People ask me, how do I get in contact with those two crazy ketos? Dr. Ken Berry, you just talk to them. You yeah. Know? Just immerse yourself. Um, following is one thing, but you guys are leading the way for the space, right? You're, you're, you're giving value and you're, you're reaching out, and there's someone right now watching, yeah. and they're like, how do I meet those two, or how do I find, just, just listen, open your heart, listen. You'll learn something, 
And then what we want you to do is take that and spread that. Well, right? what we tell people is you're gonna learn from Dr. Barry. You're gonna learn from Kim Howerton, from Maria Emmerich, from Dr. Fit and Fabulous. Amazing and then we're gonna hold your hand through. Yeah. Which and the, the worst thing is when somebody messages, somebody messaged us last night, I'm here in Omaha, but I'm afraid to come say hello. Don't be afraid. Come oh, yes. say, say hello come to us to and to anybody. If you see Jay yes. somewhere, he go wants grab to talk him. To you. Absolutely. And here's the thing is, these are real people. Very approachable. You lost 100 pounds apiece. We know. Yeah, that's amazing, right? We know seven, what you, seven for me. Amazing. But I, I don't want people to get caught up in the following. I want them to get caught up in the leadership. Here are two leaders in our space making a catalyst, right? I mean, you guys are catalysts. They're approachable. Just open your heart and listen and be inspired. Now, right? talking about inspiration, the summit does not end today. Tomorrow and Sunday, something so incredible oh gosh, and yes. precious Which is Which we did place. not know about until after we, we booked like, our flight home. Yeah. We're leaving at 7 a.m. But they're doing something incredible next week. Yes. talk about that talk real about quick? Because there's a way we can support even after Oh my gosh, weekend, yes. Right? I'll give you the link too. So, uh, 10 years in the Air Force. Um, thank you for your service. Thank you very yes. much. Thank you. I suffered my own uh, homelessness and uh, home insecurity, but the transition from military life to civilian life is hard for most because we're such in a system, told what to do, and then you're released into the wild, and sometimes the transition isn't good. Tomorrow, we're going to walk from Lincoln, the Capitol Steps, to Omaha, 50 miles. 50 miles. 22 hours with 38 people. We're gonna raise fifty thousand dollars. Robert's more. joining you, right? Yes, Robert and Crystal. Robert and Crystal. And listen, I don't care if you donate. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking to raise the awareness that men and women who have stepped on foreign soil, served here right in the United States, deployed to Afghanistan, all over the world, all these wars, they came back home, and some of them are homeless, suffering from PTSD, um, lost their way, and 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 we get to sleep. In a comfortable house. Yeah, that's true. And I don't want to stop serving. That calls me and it almost makes it chokes me up right now because there's someone out there just yeah. homeless yeah. And, and suffering. And they don't know how. And guess what? Military members are the worst at asking for help. Oh, absolutely. They absolutely. Are. So it's our turn to ask for them. And if you want to follow us, uh, the link will hopefully be included yep. 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 down below in the description. Absolutely. And I'm just. You guys, as we get to know, because the first time I saw you guys, we were all at the uh, that house that you guys stayed yes. in. Yes. And, and it's just, it's awesome to watch from afar, but if you get to meet them in person, you can only be so lucky. Aw, oh, thank you for joining us. We are just 10 minutes away right from the next, next session so Jay's got to get up on stage. Yes, yes, yes. So thanks thank for hanging out. Go, we're, I'm already excited about next year. Yes. Is yes. next year going to be this time we're of the year? Or is it going to be in January? Right around now is what we're doing. Awesome. A little, a little outside of the school area, but... Um, because right now people are returning to school, whatever. But yeah. Yes. So make yes. sure Exciting. you follow LowCarbEvents.com. Make sure you're following Dr. Fit. So you don't Fabulous. miss out on any get together. Don't miss out. We keep saying, even if you're not here, if you get near, if there's something that shows up and you're near an event, get to it because you want that encouragement, the motivation. It's an it's investment a family. in you. Yes, exactly. People you're say, worth it. Yeah, hey, it costs money, blah, blah, blah. What does your health cost if you're sick? Yeah. And how much did you spend on medication before? Right. 100%. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thanks, Thank Jay. You. Appreciate you. We were talking outside. Uh, I was uh, talking with two crazy ketos. And I, I, I want to say something to all of you. Is, um, while, while this is all amazing and all good and dandy, I want you to remember outside of this spotlight it is you. Don't get lost in the production. Don't get lost in the timing of the slides or what have you. I want you to know that some of you right now are isolated, which means you don't believe enough to latch onto someone else's courage right now because you don't want to impose. Who feels like that sometimes? You don't want to latch onto someone's courage because you don't want to impose. Something conditioned us to think that way. Tom Shea is still right here. Ugh, and he's already gone. He's already flown away. And I'm telling my people, like, um, if, if you put the, uh, my, um, I want to connect with most of you 
not all of you. No, I'm just kidding. I want to connect with all of you. If you guys can put that up on uh, the screen. So go ahead and take a second. Um, I'll put that up again, but I want to connect with you. Uh, this is just me, my life, who I am, my three Instagram followers. I hope to have seven before we're done today. Um, but but I, I do want to say to you about reaching out beyond yourself. Please, I, I can't. When I see someone standing alone at an event like this, my heart goes out and says, who are you, where are you from? Who are you and where are you from? What is your name? I want to connect with people. We may hit it off, we may not, but I love connecting people to other people. So before you leave again, if you haven't reached out, it's just an easy, hi, my name is. Uh, last year I made everyone do it in here and shake hands, but you know, just in, in light of what's happening in the world, I want to keep space. But do not isolate yourselves. Two crazy kiddos, thank you for reminding me of that. It's, it's easy to be outgoing for me. Hey, hey, hey. Some of you, it's not natural. It's okay. All you have to say is, I need help. So I'm here with Michaela from D and D Beep, and tell us a little bit about what you do. So we are a family-run ranch located about an hour north of Omaha. Um, we've been selling beef to friends and family for over 50 years. It's wow. A seed stock operation. So we sell um, bulls every year. We have an annual bull production sale. So we are ranchers. Um, a handful of years ago, I branded off and started our beef branded business, D and D Beef. Uh, we do a lot of quarter halves and whole beef shares. Oh, nice! In the Nebraska area, because that's how my grandpa started over 50 years ago. How cool! And then I've been the past couple of years starting to ship our beef uh, nationwide. We do a Beef Club box subscription, and then um, also do some deliveries to the Omaha area. Did whoa, I just hear you say you finally went nationwide? Because last year you weren't. We weren't. Yes, now we are. So we ship nationwide now. Yeah. So, so tell us about your subscription. Box because that sounds awesome. Yeah, so our subscription box is you can pick a, a size of meat that you would like to receive. So we have a smaller box for like the couple or the people who just want a little bit of red beef. Um, and then we also have some larger box options as well. The perk of our Ranch Club box um, subscription is you get, I say, first dibs. So when we get a bunch of beef in, we'll uh, email you and tell you what's in this month's box. But if you don't want fillets and New York strips and you want some ribeyes, you get first choice and we work and customize the box to your needs so wow yeah. now as far as quality goes what kind of difference are we going to see in, in the meat that you guys provide so our animals are all registered so i always tell people i can tell you the steak you're eating i can tell you that steaks grandpa's birth weight so we keep records for generations on our wow list. yes um we're registered so um all that information like carcass information and in, in the animal's entire family heritage, we keep all those records, which in turn makes extremely good quality beef. Genetics play a huge role in quality. Yeah. It's not just what you're feeding the animal. Um, all of our animals are born, fed, and raised in one location. So we literally, they're born on our ranch and then they leave our ranch for their one bad day. So we take I care love of that because that is a thing because, you know, a lot of times people are like, are, do you love animals if you eat this much meat? Yes. And it's like, I think that we love animals more. They just have one bad day. One bad day. I love that. That is so, that is so if so I good. remember right, you do, your, your beef is not grass fed, grass finished. So Why? So what we do is we do pasture raised and grain finished. And there's a misconception, I believe, that a lot of people think grass finished means they're pasture raised the entire time. That's and exactly that's not right. true. Right. Especially in the state of Nebraska, where we can't have our cattle on pasture year round because we don't have that long a growing season. So our cattle are pasture raised and grain finished. Um, we feed them out in our pens at our place the last couple months prior to butcher. We are feeding them a very high quality feed. It's just a corn based diet with a little bit of protein and then they have free choice hay 24 seven. Um, all of the corn and hay, it's like grass hay and alfalfa, all that's harvested by us. So wow. The whole, the whole process is taken care of by us from start to finish, which a lot of ranchers and operations are able to do, and we're very fortunate we're able to do that. And that I think it tastes incredible. better. I do think it tastes better. I think the marbling you get is incredible. Here's the difference. So with the genetics, because the genetics, the way we feed them, it all lines up and it just makes a superior product. And then our beef is dry aged for about 21 days. Um, most local butchers do 7 to 14, and our butcher does longer. So that also adds into the flavor. It's not dry aged uh, too long where you have some shrink. It's kind of that perfect amount to make a good product. 
So if they are outside of, of this area, what is a website that they should go to? So you can go to dandbeef.com and then we're also on Instagram and Facebook as well. Awesome. Well, yeah. thanks so much for Thank being you. with us today. Thank you. Look at the, the 2KK meatheads oh. hanging out Yay. here. And the Hungry Horde. And the Hungry Horde. Representing. Yes. Is everybody having a good time? Oh, yeah. Well, we are here with Nisha Berry. You're so incredible. If you are not following her on Nisha Loves It, you are you're doing yourself a disservice because you are you're raising this beautiful boy Beckett, not baby Beckett. It's big boy Beckett He's now. Baby Beckett. I mean, it's going too fast. It is. But you're showing us that we can have fun. We don't have to be so hard on ourselves. We can inc we can be our own cheerleader and also like this woman has fashion for days yo like <laughs> no. think uh, yeah what, well, I mean I'm you really, gotta see I'm it I'm really up, I'm doing the real hardcore fashion today this is mom fashion <laughs> this is mom fashion but yeah we're just we're having fun it's not so serious all the time it's what you got Dr Barry for you wanted to go listen to the science you can go listen to him. Whenever but you're the mind. brains behind oh, Dr. Yeah. Barry's channel. Well, I'd like to think so. <laughs> every, every, the, behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes, yes. and that's like that's for reals. Rolling her eyes. And Can we talk the about <laughs> um, like some of the different diseases that you've had to suffer with because yeah. people are always worried about that and yeah, so raise, being pregnant on keto. Yeah, it's a uh, possibility. Yeah. Hashimoto's was how I got into the keto thing, and then I had infertility, and so I've been paleo, low carb, keto, carnivore, keto while I was pregnant, then carnivore after I had Beckett, and then now I'm meat based ketovore, which is just another label we're gonna throw on. Yeah, I mean, there's so keto. many. Proper human diet, really honestly, is the, the best yeah. name for it because it just covers everything. Yeah, so it's the proper Nisha diet. I eat the, only the vegetables that don't seem to inflame me, and I eat mostly meat and healthy fats, so a healthy amount of fat, too. Well, and I love that, like, what works for Nisha? Because it is not like, as if you've bought a Moo Moo, they say one size fits all. That is not Lies. true. Don't. Don't buy any garment really unless it's a towel that says one size fits yeah. all and it's yeah. the same thing for what we eat yeah. so like something that inflames you i might be okay with and and vice versa exactly. and i love that yeah. and like how can we be better at encouraging mom and women that are like going through because we're our toughest critic that's 100 percent true how yeah. can we help encourage one another just sticking together and just being honest with each other yeah. and, and encouraging each other to be honest with ourselves because if, if you're not being honest with yourself then you're probably not gonna really get to where you want to be because like you said we're our own or yes sir we're our own worst critics but we're, we're also we're the biggest cheerleader too so yeah. if we can tap into that and then i think we're gonna be okay and just women's we've got a we got a group up you know we do we used to Dr. Bear, you know, 10,000 years ago, we had tribes of women. You know, yeah. we all tribed up, and now we're all kind of just, we're not together like we used to be, and social media is the new tribe, but I really want us to be in person more. Yeah. And just like these women that are here, it's like, it makes they, a difference. It makes a difference. The, when the day I got here, Rachel picked up and took Beckett so I could eat. Like, that's the kind of things that we're missing out on when we're not well, interacting. Well, and, and that is, and, and that is such an awesome thing because you blessed me because I've got older boys and I don't get to enjoy the baby time. And you know what? My nerves have grown back. There, there, There's a time when it was like, I'm on my last nerve. Well, they grow back up like grass again. But you know, yeah, you've got new moms entering the space and you think like, well, how can I be a blessing? How about babysit your neighbors? There is some woman in in your life who could use a meal prepared and just brought to her house you can offer some free babysitting you can bring over a new top for them like yeah. there's so much that we can do as women together and something that I'm so excited about and I'm not gonna be hard on myself because I didn't do it because when you know better you do better but you are raising a new child in this space where it's he's not all sugared up yeah yeah, yeah. and there I think that there is a difference but also I have 
I have a great support system and I think a lot of women really want to do better with their kids yeah. and they see you know me and, and all the other women in the space feeding their kids but they're exhausted they're tired they don't have help like it's more yeah. than just the food it's, it's the family it is and, and having a support system and all of that it all goes together like we all talk about the carbs yeah the carbs are important but if you can't get up out of the bed to get your kid fed because you're exhausted you know yeah. that's that's a part of it too so i just feel like women in this space we we got great ones we got good ones so us coming together is it's that makes a huge difference my experience here would not have been as good if i didn't have all the women that uh, had my yeah. back on from day one when I got here. Well, and that is so encouraging. And so moving forward, there's more than just what you're eating, sharing a meal together, but it's sharing encouragement and what, whatever lifestyle, what, where, whatever that keto journey looks like for you, that proper human diet looks like for you. We have this great opportunity to just support one another and it's just so exciting. So where can, where can we find you? I'm on Facebook, I am on Instagram, I am on YouTube. All of that is at Nisha Loves It. Not on Twitter. Well, I am, but I am not on Twitter. <laughs> Don't, I, I like to protect my mental health. Yeah, that's good. And then now I have a podcast as well that's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Audible. You can do podcasts on Amazon now. So it's Nisha Uncensored, and you can... And she's uncensored. And I'm uncensored. Just like Dr. Bear. <laughs> Best name ever. <laughs> So, yeah, that's live right now, but the first full episode will be out on August 31st. So Exciting. Well, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Well, we're here with Mariel from Barreras Family Farm. And can you tell us a little bit about your products here today? Uh, my family raises beef and pork, and it's grass-fed, grass-finished, no corn and no grain. And we raise it on alfalfa. So, um, yeah, and the products here today is we have our sugar-free pork jerky and our sugar-free beef jerky today. Oh, wow. And we also sell individual cuts on our online website store. Okay, so you don't have to be here at the summit in order to buy Where it. Where do you ship to? Yeah. We ship nationwide, everywhere but Hawaii. Nice, yeah. nice. And it's flat rate shipping, so $29, so flat rate. So basically just like order a bunch at once. Yeah, and then it's free shipping. So, hello. Right. So, what sizes do you have in the bags? Are these just these are the individuals? So, do you only have the 2.75, or Correct. do you have the bigger ones? Nope, just the okay. 2.75. So different ones. And do you have any other flavors that you offer online? We do, but there is some sugar in those. Okay. So it's like one gram of sugar for those other ones. So we just brought the sugar free today. Now, how um, long has your family been in the business? <laughs> My husband uh, just retired from the military, so we've been married to it or serving for 21 years. And wow. so our retirement plan has been farming. Man. So, um, well, thank you for your service. 2018, 2018. Can you tell me about your product? I don't, I've never heard of it yeah, before. So I don't know what this is. This looks intriguing. It does look intriguing. I never liked meal replacement drinks, so. Oh, well, You're gonna have to convince me here. This is a complete meal. So we have a lot of, we actually have 30 flavors. Uh, one of them is this really great caramel mocha Macchiato. Oh uh, wow, that sounds yeah. good. It does sound really good. Now, I want to caution you, it doesn't have actual coffee in it, so if you're the type of person who can't sleep at night with caffeine, it actually works really well for that. But yeah, we've got uh, uh, key lime here, um, the lemon meringue, and chocolate mixed with butter because it doesn't separate after you mix it up. But it is a nutritionally complete meal uh, designed to make doing keto really easy and you can customize it to whatever calorie amount you want. You can even do uh, protein sparing modified fast with it if you really want to. But um, it's my laziness incarnate because I'm an engineer and I want to make things super easy. Okay, so I am here with Becca from Certified Piedmontese and I am so proud of myself for not completely butchering <laughs> that word. So tell us a little bit about your product, Becca. Sure, so Certified Piedmontese, we're a local company. We're actually out of Lincoln. Um, we are an all-natural beef, so we are a uh, no hormones, antibiotics, or steroids. We're humanely raised across uh, ranches in the Midwest, and um, here we have our Biltong products. So I was just explaining to her that we came out with this about a year ago. It's like a really healthy snack item. Um, essentially, it's kind of like beef jerky, but it's air dried instead of dehydrated, so it's going to retain all of that same nutritional profile, but in a less quantity form. So just in two ounces, you're going to get at least 
30 grams of protein, you just can't beat that. It is so nice, and it actually has a really nice mouthfeel to it, because yes. a lot of times people are used to like breaking their teeth off yes. on certain beef jerkies, and yes. this is really nice, that it's kind, you know, kind of between like, it's not you know soft as a stick, right. you've got a little chew to it, It'll, yes. it's, it's really nice. So, and you've got some beautiful flavors here. This one is garlic herb. You have a spicy, now is it really spicy, or is it like, I wish I was spicy? Um. It's spicy to the point where you don't have smoke coming out of your ears, okay. but it satisfies the spice craving. Which is nice. Okay, so it's not going to blow your face off, but it's still going to be tasty. And then you have the original, and that's really kind of safe for everybody. Yes. You're going to just get started. So you really have like the beef flavor in this grass-fed option. Yeah, so. that is awesome. And how long have you, you, so how long did you say you've been around? So Certified Piedmontese has been around for 10 years. Our anniversary was in April. Wow. Um, we actually just opened up a storefront down in Lincoln Mercado nice. about a year ago when we opened up a restaurant there too. And what is that location's <laughs> address if you have it? Um, yeah, so it's 4841 North 84th Street. Um, it's just on the corner of 84th and Havelock, so if you're familiar with that area, we're right there. It's a big building, you can't miss it. It says CP on the side. Um, we actually have our corporate office there, our restaurant, our retail shop, our grind facility, steak cut rooms, and all of our uh, freezer storage. So wow. we're doing it all in house now. And it smells like beef. So you just smell, like just look for <laughs> the smell of beef and you will find it. Now, yep. I don't have to cry that I live in Florida and can't go to your storefront. Right. I can still get this online. Oh yeah, where do I find it? So Piedmontese.com is where you're gonna find all of these snack items, but also all of our premium steak cuts, roast, ground beef, all of it. Oh, nice. So they don't just have this here today, but they're also having some beef sticks that are here in different flavors. What are some of the flavors that you have? You have jalapeno. Yes, and then we have an original. original. So those are our grass-fed options. We also do have our core line as well. And this is something nice that you don't get on every single beef stick, and that is the nutrition facts. Yes. You're lucky if you get what the ingredients are. Not every um, person puts the nutrition label on. So thank you. We yes. actually really super appreciate that. So the conference is over. It went too fast. It's a little bit after six. We just finished talking to Dr. Seaman, and what you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to our channel and you hit the bell button because over the next couple weeks there a are a interviews. lot of breakout interviews with Dr. Barry, with Kim Howerton, with Maria Amarek, with Dr. Jamie Seaman. So Don't so many those. people. You're definitely gonna want to catch up on all those. So make sure you hit that bell button so you're notified. We're gonna go help Chris and Miriam pack up the Keto Chow booth. Then we're heading back to the Eat house. Meat. We're having leftover ribs from Heather and Phil, and we're having steak, and we have a bunch of subscribers coming to hang Yay! out with us, right? And then we've got to get up at three o'clock in the morning to get on a plane at seven. And we Not just found out that we're actually on the same plane as Chris and Miriam. How cool is that? They booked their flight a month before us. We didn't organize anything. They're on the same flight. We're in the same row. We're in the same row. Is that amazing? You, you can't make this stuff up. We'll see you guys at the house. Oh, Look at that, me. Yay! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. That what do we have? Brought some New York steaks. And mushrooms. And mushrooms. Rachel's gonna be happy. For those of you who like to eat fungus, there's mushrooms. I'm not a mushroom fan. I can't do fungus. We got two KK bacon from Heath. Yep. And then we got Regular more bacon, bacon over there. And then we got ribs from Phil and Heather, and I think we have poppers coming, don't we? Okay, so we're eating dinner. We're having dessert, which we don't have very often. And look what they got. We got some Rebel ice cream sandwiches, which we keep saying we're gonna try, but I don't wanna buy them all because then I'm gonna eat them all. So they have them here, so we're just gonna totally, like... We're gonna do a taste test. Take some. So not a full five things review. Um, so we'll taste it and then just kinda... Holy Batman. Okay. I know we're supposed to eat this first. Okay. But one sandwich has 26 total carbs. Yeah, but this is this is a lot less this than is, one sandwich. This is a four, but but honey, that that is not gonna, I mean. Oh, I know that. I'm gonna eat an entire sandwich. Okay. For sure. You wanna try it? Yeah. <laughs> Take a bite. First? It's good. I'm not gonna lie, it's good. What's in it? Ingredients. Cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, chicory fiber, vegetable glycerin, milk protein isolate, natural vanilla flavor, Peruvian. 
Carob, um, woo, fancy, like it went to a private school. Um, war gum, salt, and monk fruit, and then the cookie itself that was the ice cream. Okay, the cookie itself was almond flour, chocolate chips, chocolate liqueur, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia, sunflower lecithin, allulose, butter, palm oil, erythritol, chicory fiber, whole eggs, natural vanilla flavor, xanthan gum, gore gum, salt, and baking powder. It's still not bad ingredients, is it it's pretty not good terrible? Ingredients? How but here's, but we got 26, 26 total carbs. 26 total carbs, 330 calories per sandwich. So we're going to tell you, you can take out the erythritol, okay. but don't take out the fiber. Mm -hmm. So what is that going to bring it down so to? So you're going to have four grams. Steve's trying to give you more. Oh, how awesome. I only had one bite out of it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. All right. So, well, the fat, let me just tell everybody that it's 330 calories. 30 grams of fat, five grams of protein. So if you take out the four fiber, they've got We're the math equation fiber. We're down here. We're gonna take out sugar alcohol. So the, um, the, the sugar alcohol in the sandwich slash allulose is 18.4. So you're looking at nine carbs. Nine carbs per per um, sandwich. So it's, it's a treat. I mean, obviously this is not like yep. bacon and eggs. Um, I still get like I mean I'm I'm got oh, I'm sweaty thinking about the 26 total carbs. 20 total carbs is not a magic number. You can do no, 30 total. I'd can't. rather you do 30 or 40 total carbs than do 20 net carbs. But there's and a lot of every, jalapeno poppers that I can hork down. Yep. Compared yeah. to this, so they're good. We're not so. saying don't eat them. We're saying be careful. Yeah. What is the one thing? One takeaway. Biggest takeaway out of the conference. So my biggest takeaway out of the conference. Um, is it's all a mindset thing. I mean, we all know what to do. We know what to eat, you know, what to avoid and whatnot. But our brains, they're a complicated system and yeah. they will often pull us in the wrong direction. And it's a mindset thing. Talking about punishing yourself. If you fall off, then you punish yourself for what you've done. Mm -hmm. And again, we use the word diet, but it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have things that impact you in your life and you might fall off the wagon, but you just get right back on the wagon and you don't allow your mind to punish you for what's happened. That is so good. Yep. Chris, you're good. sitting at the table. Oh, am I? Okay. Yeah. What was your takeaway from this one? Um, Got a takeaway? Always be kind to people. It may take years, but eventually they'll Come around. Cool. Like that. It's kind of weird, but you what know, we got? What it was. Kabuto Bri. Bri. Kabuto Bri. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think my biggest takeaway actually was from Tom. Okay. Um, okay. The not the not quitting the mindset. Um, never give up. Never, never surrender. Never give up. Never surrender. Mm. Um, because I recognized a lot of between him yesterday and Dr. Sivas today talking about um the um his speech about uh, the interaction of the characters and uh i realized that i started and stopped and started and stopped keto or atkins or paleo or low carb and i would never follow through mm -hmm. and that's the biggest difference now is it's helped give me and that's one thing i really liked about being in the closed community like that and being able able to actually experience it and jay kept bringing it up it's so different to actually be there and so to be immersed in it and get a better understanding but uh, just the whole idea of not quitting and following through and, and saying what i mean and meaning what i say yeah, so. yeah. he also said don't look at me a lot <laughs> yeah. what and about we, miriam we, we keep saying it all the time that <laughs> If you have an opportunity to get to a conference, get to a conference. There's a huge difference nice. between watching it on YouTube yeah. and watching it in person. Mm -hmm. Miriam, do you have a takeaway? Um, Kristen was saying we can't on ourselves, can't on ourselves way too much. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't be successful. I can't win. I can't do this. I can't wear that outfit. But we should turn it around and just say I can. I yep. can. I can do anything. And when you say that, like... It's such a difference. I can do hard things. Like, I can do it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Well, the biggest takeaway for me is honestly to get to meet all y'all in person after 
talking and, and seeing you all y'all. You just stole my takeaway. So <laughs> <laughs> That's a good takeaway. Because, I mean, everything that they talked about and all the different speakers and everything, stuff I've already heard a bajillion times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just repetitive. There's a huge difference. To Again, me, like I just though. said, to see it on YouTube yeah. and to be around people that are like-minded. Yeah. And if, if you want to come to these events if for no other reason than to rejuvenate yourself. Yes. Like we need to, true. you need to, you get beat up in the world. Yeah, what he said. But when you get around everybody else who well, feels the same way. Well, it is special. I feel the same way as Heath because every Friday night... I'm having dinner with hey, Ethan Shelley. Just stream this. But but tonight <laughs> I am actually physically having dinner with Heath and Shelley. That's right. And now I enjoy every single Friday night. I love it. I love the banter and we're typing back and forth and she's reading so like they I mean they're way I mean they're way better than Joe and Rachel yeah. about reading every comment. They get to it. But 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 there is something different and precious of like actually breaking bacon together cuz I'm changing it. We're not breaking bread all right we're breaking bacon to the, together and there is something like extra special about like getting to see you yeah. and yeah. be together that yeah. that's a total difference Your don't he, heather's in the back I, I got one we're gonna get shelly first oh what's your takeaway i would say just how supportive the whole keto community is mm-hmm. that no matter what you're going through even if you're you're doing great on keto if you're struggling on keto any of those we're all here together and just knowing that, you know, people from Dr. Barry all the way to everybody here, like, I felt like we're all in this together. Yeah. That if any, if I'm struggling or even if I just want to like brag and say, oh, I'm not doing really good. Yeah. I know I could go to Susan or Brian or Chris, Miriam, nope. Rachel, Joe, Heather, <laughs> yes. everybody. Yeah, no. not Chris, sorry. <laughs> not not oh Chris. We, where are we and sitting know, right now? <laughs> <laughs> and I know that y'all would be right there, like cheering me on or You're giving me words of encouragement. And when you go to these keto conferences, you feel it even more and you realize it. So if you're somebody who's never gone to a conference, then you go and you really feel like the that family. warmth and love and the family. And I mean, like I'm addicted now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Heather is trying to hide in the back there. We gonna get. But it. I have a Zoom. So there you go. Give me a takeaway, Heather. Um, I don't know if it's really a takeaway, because three years ago we started keto, and it served, not only did it save our lives, it saved our marriage. And going to the conferences, it kind of rejuvenates why we started, mm-hmm. and it gets us a weekend away. Yeah, but you didn't even go to keto con. No, we didn't. No, they sent us. Go. I know. We made you and Rachel go to keto con. But, but see, I mean, see it's what's seriously. Now. I know. Because. 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 Friends that are more than friends. It's yeah. right. like family. Mm-hmm. And when you can go to a conference and Dr. Barry's like, hey, Heather, he knows who I am. I'm like, he knows who I am. You know, it's. Why do you think knows who I am? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and Chris knows who I am, and I can't make him stop knowing. Who I am. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> but, That's yeah, so I mean. Sweet. <laughs> oh, look, he's crying. But, um, <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's, it's, it's not a diet, it's, it's a lifestyle, and you know who is really committed to doing it and who just thinks it's a fad. It's like when you go to these things, I mean, and you, you see the same people, and it doesn't even matter what state, and it's just like, that's, that's right. how you know that it's, it's, it's real. Basically, for me, it's uh, stay positive. And, I mean, just like, we got all kinds of family and friends and people we've met and and continue to stay in contact with it's just you got so many people to with support and friendship and love it's just it's been awesome the past three years for us yeah i love the family mm-hmm. it's, it, it really is a family and like you said it's like you can see faces and they immediately light up to see you and and then it just brightens your own spirit to know that they that they truly love you yeah for me, it's one, the, the family aspect, which was part of the reason why I pestered Chris and Miriam for a year to hire me. Oh, that's right. To, oh, yeah, to, that was annoying. <laughs> what do we need a glass laser for? 
uh, we don't need a glass guy. <laughs> to, to, to get out of construction, but it was it, keto itself too. Not only I mean the people, but it's been a life changing experience for me. Pain is an incredible motivator, mm. and if yeah. you can get rid of pain and then have a, a family environment in every state you go to is despite seeing the same people or not is an incredible incredible way to live so what's your takeaway so everybody's podcast? already said it but it really is this don't cut off your ear Look at it, this. it is this it, don't cut off my ear yeah. it is this family behind us it you know KetoCon started it for us. We've been to several conferences. This We've said it several times in several videos that you guys are gonna see coming up. This is my favorite conference because of the way that Jay and Dr. Seaman have organized it to be very intimate and to be able to be concluding the conference, even though we've got to get on a plane in, I don't know, like 10 hours, to be concluding it with this group of people back here who I feel like is family. Yeah. And it's nothing special about any of them other than they showed up. Yeah, they're here, they're, they're here, we're connected. And honestly, they're, they're still in the back and he and Heather's, uh, Heather's over here, but like the, those two people, they set all of it in motion That's because right. they, they just did a simple act that probably came super natural to them. But we thought it was weird. Because they're just generous people and we, we couldn't believe that somebody just reached out. Mm -hmm. And that made all of the difference in the world. And it gave us the boldness to like reach out to other people too. So we're like those two people that they're responsible for just being like, you know what? I'm going to reach out to somebody. So reach out. You you mm -hmm. don't know how it is going to change everybody's life, but they have tr changed the trajectory of our lives. And yep. we pray that we have the opportunity to, to bless and change the trajectory of somebody else's lives. But there's someone in your realm of influence that you can make a life like changing difference in. Yeah. yeah, Jay Morales said it great today for those of you who weren't here, when he said, if you see somebody walking with their head down by themselves, go say hello. What's your name and where you're from? Yep, and that's, that and that's what started it for us was we spent our entire life walking, looking down. We yeah. looked at our feet. We didn't want to look up because we were ashamed of ourselves. And we don't want to see anybody walking that way. And now you've got all of these faces. If you see them at a conference or you see them or online, the I guarantee you, you see the handles online. I guarantee you, you reach out to them. You say, hey, how's it going? They're going to answer back. You're not going to yep. be disappointed. Well, <laughs> that is going to be the end of day two of Keto Summit <laughs> Omaha. We did make the decision, for those of you who've been following us, we are going to Las Vegas. Woohoo! What is the date, Chris and Miriam? 15th uh, and 16th. October 15th October. and 16th. We just found out, of course, I told Rachel we're going to Omaha, and then she found out her best friend back there isn't going to be there. <laughs> we're not to Omaha, to Vegas. Yeah. So she My got birthday, sucked into going. Twin. So uh, we're going to go. So let us know if you're going to be in the Vegas area during that weekend. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the videos that are down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which is over there. But whether you go this way or you go this way, don't choke. So go this way. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time, bye. bye.